Hey there, beautiful people. This is Lindy Ford, registered dietitian, licensed nutritionist, and nutrition detective. So we've been talking about gut health, and we are just going to go keep going down that road of, of optimizing our gut health. But before we do that, we're going to play the Jeff Foxworthy game. You all know Jeff Foxworthy. He's a comedian, and he's the guy that says you might be a redneck if you have upholstered furniture on your front porch, or if you go to a family reunion to meet your meet your uh, date. So we, we're, we're going to play it a little bit differently. We're going to say you might have a compromised gut if you have certain conditions. Okay. So here we go. You ready? Here we go. So if you have IBS or ulcerated colitis or Crohn's disease, you might have a compromised gut. You do have a compromised gut for crying out loud. If you have gastrointestinal reflux disease, other wise known as GERD, which so many of my patients have, you do have a compromised gut. If you have colon polyps or can colon cancer or pancreatic disease, you have a compromised gut. Or if you have diverticulitis, diverticulosis, or gastritis, you have a compromised gut. Or if you suffer from depression, anxiety, or mood disorders, you have a compromised gut. Or if you're overweight or obese, you might have a compromised gut. So if I could see all of your hands out there and ask all of you if you have any of those conditions, I think about 90% of you would raise your hand. That's why we're talking about gut health. That's why it is so, so important. And so thank you for hanging with me on this. So the last video we talked about removing, removing the bad things. So we had several things that we're going to be removing, you know, just like uh, processed foods and uh, lots of over-the-counter drugs and, and prescription drugs. But we, I did forget to add parasites, yeast, and bacteria. You've got to remove those folks. And the way to do that is through a comprehensive stool uh, analysis and that's going to be done through a medical professional so if you haven't gotten relief doing a lot of things and you know there might be something else wrong you need to go to a medical professional and have that stool analysis done just to rule it out it's probably a good idea for all of us just to rule that out it may require treatment with herbs and um, there's there's anti-parasite medications as well as antifungals or a targeted antibiotic i know you might be thinking like why is she telling me antibiotic when that could be one of the things that is causing this but um, this is a targeted antibiotic so it targets the offender in the small intestine so it's a little bit different so the next step after remove, we remove all of those offenders, is that we need to restore. So we need to add back the, the essential ingredients for proper digestion to begin with. Most of us just are not making enough digestive enzymes as well as hydrochloric acid. So we need to add those back. So again, I have to make this disclaimer, talk to a medical professional uh, before you start any kind of supplements. But I like a fully comprehensive, fully faceted, faceted digestive enzyme that is really going to hit and target um, all of the different nutrients that you're taking into your body. So uh, just make sure that it has a lot of different types of enzymes in it. So thank you so much. Please, 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 please um, join me next time as we talk uh, about re-inoculation and repair because we are just headed right down this gut health trail and we're going to get real deep into it next time and we're going to we're going to delve into how to really put together a, a healthy and optimal gut so thank you so much for watching and i'm lindy ford and please follow me on facebook and twitter and Subscribe to this YouTube channel and just remember that everybody deserves to be optimally healthy. Thanks so much. Bye.